Discovering a breast lump is a common complaint both in general practice and in the exam. If it's very important in taking history and talking to this patient to try and be empathic and sensitive as much as possible because many of these patients are actually worried about having cancer and some of them turn out to have a breast cancer. Start your history taking with open-ended questions. Make sure to ask about eyes, especially patient concern. Do not give false reassurance or false hope. Be honest. You can acknowledge that although cancer might be a possibility, however, there are many other causes that can cause a breast lump. And you can check with investigation and physical examination to make sure whatever is needed that you'll do for them. The information that is important to take from history is the first one is regarding the mass. Is it bilateral or unilateral? Is it one or many? Does it change in its period? How long has the patient has noticed? Is the there is any change during that time? Is it painful or not? Has the patient had any trauma? Especially the family violence is important to be noted here. Any skin changes on the breast? Any rash or nipple discharge? Going on with other aspects, having weight loss, bone pain, lymphadenopathy, and fever is also important in differential diagnosis. It's important to note if the patient has been breastfeeding or not. If the patient has ever had any kind of investigation, mammogram or ultrasound, any history of cancer or mass in the breast before. Also, the history of radiation is important. Consider risk factor for breast cancer. If having a family history of breast cancer and the age of the first degree person with a breast cancer, Drinking, pregnancy after 30, and no breastfeeding are among the risk factors. Effect on the mood is also important. So you start your physical examination by explaining to the patient what is the step of your examination. You offer chaperone and get consent from the patient. You step outside and provide privacy until the patient gets changed and you also offer sheets. Then you will start looking. The position A to B, A to D, shows the position for inspection only. A is arm beside the body. B is arm above the head. C and D is for contracting pectoralis muscle. Then you will ask the patient to lie down and you will start from the nipple by palpating in a circular motion and you make sure that you cover all the area that are important. Then you will go on to continue to make sure if there's any lymphadenopathy in the axilla. The famous triple test that will help in diagnosis of the, any breast mass or positive clinical finding in history and physical examination, imaging and biopsy, whether an FNA or core biopsy. However, if a woman is younger than 30 years, without any other indication of breast cancer, it's reasonable to clinically review it after the patient's next cycle to rule out cyclical breast changes before any investigation.